Okay, so let's say you want to jazz up your welcome screen or your you win or you lose screen a little bit by putting some characters on that are moving. You know, this is just a real simple example of what I got here. I'm not controlling this monster right now. It's just automatically going across, eating the candy, the candy's disappearing, and then they just do it over and over and over again. So let's just take a look at what we have here. So now the key is this actor that we're looking at is not the monster that's in the game. This is that pretend monster that I created if you watch the one about adding graphics to it. So that's where the code is for this one. You would not code this to the one that's playing the game. Because again, we're on the home scene here, not the main level one with this. So what I have here, just a few different things. So I've got just a move right rule at this speed, not in a rule, it just does it. So as soon as that scene loads, the monster starts moving to the right. Then what I want to happen is I wanted to eat that candy and basically start over after a certain amount of time. So what I've got is when it collides with the candy one art one, that's the green piece of candy on the home screen. Play the sound chomp. Stop moving all the uh, stop moving. So basically move in direction zero at a speed of zero. And then I added what's called a timer after one second, reset the scene to my candy. All I added here was when it collides with the monster, change this attribute. This is a little confusing, but it was hard to get it to just disappear and then come back. So what I added here was a change attribute and then went to self aspects, graphics, visible is false. So meaning when I touch the monster, am I visible? False, I am not. And then the other monster, when it resets the scene, will make it come back with it. So there's a lot of things you can do here. Like you could have you know, the monster go this way and then move down and eat this one, go over eat this one, go back to the top and start the whole thing over. You can just have a lot of fun with this here. You'll probably create new actors for it. But again, just the key is make sure that you are not editing the actors that are playing the game. These would be different actors, even though they might look the same. Okay, have some fun with it.